Welcome to Santi Peace for Mathematics. In this video, we will discuss some important results on sphere. Also, based on that, we will discuss some examples. So, in the sphere, if you have given one sphere and a point, then there will be three possibilities of uh, this point and the sphere is there. Either this point it is inside the sphere, or it is outside the sphere or it will be that on the sphere and this is known as a power of a point suppose the given equation of the sphere is of the form x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus d equal to 0 and the point is alpha beta gamma if the value of alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square plus 2u alpha plus 2v beta plus 2w gamma plus d if this value of this quantity is greater than 0 then we can say that this point is outside sphere if it is less than 0 then it is called inside sphere and if it is equal to 0 then we can say that it is on the sphere so this is known as a power of the point if it is the, a sphere is there and if the point is on the sphere then we can talk about the tangent at that point let's say that this point is alpha beta gamma and the equation of the sphere suppose it is we assume that it is x square plus y square plus z square equal to a square then we can talk about the tangent at the point alpha beta gamma the equation of the tangent at this point will be alpha x plus beta y plus gamma z equal to a square. So this is the first result that we can say that the equation of the tangent plane to the sphere x square plus y square plus z square equal to a square at a point p of alpha beta gamma is alpha x plus beta y plus gamma z equal to a square. This is the first result we should note. Next, if you have the sphere of the form, the equation of the tangent plane to the sphere. So in the previously, what is the sphere we have taken? It is a special sphere whose center is 0, 0, 0, but it's not always it will be a 0, 0, 0. So in general, the equation of the sphere, we know it is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2by plus 2wz plus d equal to 0. To this type of sphere, the equation of the tangent plane at the point alpha beta gamma is alpha x plus beta y plus gamma z plus u into x plus alpha plus v into y plus beta plus w into z plus gamma plus d equal to 0 is there. The next result is we like to discuss is if you have given the equation of the plane like this lx plus my plus nz equal to p and what will be the condition that this plane touches this sphere x square plus y square plus z square equal to a square. So, so, if this plane will touch this sphere, then the condition is p equal to plus or minus a into square root of l square plus m square plus n square. And in that case, you will have the intersecting point or point of intersection can be calculated as a square l upon p, a square m upon p, a square n upon p this is the point of intersection so we have this is this is the situation if this is the splitter is 0 0 0 and the radius is a and there is one tangent plane to that sphere that is lx plus my plus nz equal to p then this point of contact is this one and the condition on this x square plus y square plus z square equal to a square which touches this plane is the condition is p equal to plus or minus a square root of l square plus m square plus n square. 
So this is the second result that we can note down here. The next concept is about the angle between two spheres. So we have the two spheres if they are intersecting each other. So these are the two spheres is there. First of all, how to define the angle between two spheres? So there is a point and we have a tangent plane at that point. So both having the tangent plane at that point. Angle between that tangents is actually the angle between that sphere. So this is a concept of angle between any two sphere at a some particular point. Now the question is when these two spheres are orthogonal. So let us consider that two spheres are of the form x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 u1x plus 2 v1y plus 2 w1z plus d1 equal to 0 and another equation is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 u2x plus v2y plus 2 w2z plus d2 equal to 0 then the intersection or if these two spheres are intersect each other orthogonally that means angle between that two spheres is pi by 2 if they are satisfying this condition 2 u1 u2 plus 2 v1 v2 plus w1 w2 equal to d1 plus d2 so if if these two spheres are satisfying this condition then we can say that if and only if we can say that these two spheres are intersect orthogonally that means angle between these two spheres is pi by 2. Let us talk now some important examples related to this concept. So the first example that we have proved that the sphere x square plus y square plus z square plus 2x plus 8y plus 4z plus 19 equal to 0 and x square plus y square plus z square plus 8x plus 10y plus 6z plus 11 equal to 0 are orthogonal sphere. Orthogonal spheres means they are intersect each other at 90 degree. So let us talk about the solution or example. If you compare this first equation with the standard equation that is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2u1x plus 2v1y plus 2w1z plus d1 equal to 0. Then you will have 2u1 will be 2, 2v1 2 is 8, 2w1 is 4 and d1 is 19. Similarly, if you compare the second equation with the equation x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 u2x plus 2v2y plus 2w2z plus d2 equal to 0. Then the we have the value of 2u2 will be 8, 2v2 will be 10, 2w2 is 6 and d2 will be 10, 11 that is the value we have. Now as we have discussed that if they are intersecting orthogonally that then it must satisfy this condition. So we need to calculate that quantity and from that for to calculate that we required the value of u1, v1 and w1, d1. So u1 will be 1, v1 is 4, w1 is 2, u2 will be 4, v2 will be 5, w2 is 3 and d2 is already given as 11. So now we note that d1 plus d2 d1 the value of d1 is 19 d2 is 11 so it is 19 plus 11 will be 30 and 2 times u1 u2 plus v1 v2 plus w1 w2 will substitute all this value here that is u1 is 1 u2 is 4 so it is 4 v1 is 4 v2 is 5 so it is 20 plus w1 is 2 and w2 is 6 so it is 3 so it will be 6 and you can just see that this is 2 into 30 which will be 60 so we can say that this d1 plus d2 is not equal to 2 times u1 u2 
plus v1 v2 plus w1 w2 therefore the sphere 1 is not or sphere 1 and sphere 2 are not orthogonal spheres that we can say from this so this statement they have say that prove this which is not correct let us discuss the next example prove that the line x minus 1 by 2 equal to y plus 1 by minus 1 z minus 1 by minus 2 intersect the sphere x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus y plus 3z plus 1 equal to 0. Now here the question is the given line is intersecting this sphere. So if you have a sphere and a line if the it says that intersect that means the line should intersect this thing. So there will be three conditions should be there either this line will never be intersect or it is touch the so like this it will touch or it will intersect like this so there will be three possibilities are there so if it is intersect then you will have two point of intersection if it is touch then it will have only one point of intersection if it is there then there will be no point of intersection so what i will take i will just take it this is equal to k for some k belongs to r so that will gives you x is equal to 2k plus 1 by taking x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 upon 2 equal to k then it will be second one is y equal to minus k minus 1 and z will be minus 2k plus 1 if this point if it is lies on this pier then it must satisfy this equation so therefore we can substitute this x is equal to 2k plus 1 y equal to this and z equal to this on this equation that will give you 2k plus 1 square plus minus k minus 1 square plus minus 2k plus 1 square minus 2 into x 2k plus 1 plus y that is minus k minus 1 plus 3 into z that is minus 2k plus 1 plus 1 equal to 0 and we simplify this expression let us simplify this will give you 4k square plus 4k plus 1 plus k square plus 2k plus 1 this will simplify as plus 4k square minus 4k plus 1 this is 4k plus 2 this is minus k minus 1 this will be minus 6k plus 3 plus 1 equal to 0 so this what are the coefficient of k square will have this k square will coming in the three places so we'll have k square is 9k square 9k square then 4k minus 4k will get cancelled this is 2k and this is plus 4k this will be minus 4 minus 6k so that will be cancelled so only the terms of k is left is minus k so this is minus k and the, let's see what is the constant term is there so it is 1 1 1 that will be 3 plus 2 which is 5 minus 1 and this one is cancel out and plus 3 so that is 8 so plus 8 is equal to 0 so this can be factorized as minus 8 plus 8k plus 8 using this uh, b square minus 4ac that is a delta this is a quadratic equation in terms of k so b square is 1 square minus 4 into 9 into 8 so this will gives you negative of whatever the value you will have but it has always negative so we can say that this is the negative 0 so we can say that this line is never intersect the sphere why because if this value of delta will be positive then it will intersect because in that case this equation will have two roots and for that value of k you will have two points of intersection if this value of k is equal to zero then you will have one root because there is a two equal roots in that case and if you can have negative then there will be no real solution of this equation is possible so that's why this line which we have here so this is also the wrong statement we have 
this line is never intersect so this is not intersecting this pier so that is the second example we have let's have the next example check that the line is x minus 3 upon 2 or do y plus 2 upon minus 1 z plus 1 upon minus 2 is touch the sphere x square plus y square plus z square minus 2y plus 2z minus 7 equal to 0. If so, find point of contact. Same concept as we have discussed in the previous example, we have to do the same thing. So here x minus 3, x minus 3 upon 2 equal to x equal to k, we, k, we are assuming this is equal to k, for k belongs to r. So we'll have x minus 3 upon 2 equal to k, y plus 2 upon minus 1 is equal to k, z plus 1 upon minus 2 equal to k. So that will give you x is equal to 2k plus 3, y will be minus k minus 2 and z is minus 2k minus 1. Now substituting this value of x, y, z into the given sphere, equation of the sphere, which gives you 2k plus 3 square plus minus k minus 2 square that is the second value z value is minus 2k minus 1 so plus minus 2k minus 1 square then it is minus 2y so it is 2 into minus k minus 2 plus 2z is there so it is 2 into minus 2k minus 1 minus 7 equal to 0 if you simplify this this will be 4k square plus 3 to the 6 to the 12k plus 9 plus k square plus 4k plus 4 plus 4k square plus 4k plus 1 minus minus plus 2k plus 4 this is 4k minus 2 minus 7 equal to 0 so if you simplify this is 4k k square and 4k so it is 9k square the coefficient of k which is 12 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus k 1 4 k is cancel out so it is 16 plus 2 18 k the constant term you will have 9 plus 4 that is 13 plus 1 14 plus 4 18 18 minus 9 that is plus 9 equal to 0 so this will give you if you divide by k square sorry if you divide by 9 this will give you k square plus 2k plus 1 equal to 0 so will gives you k plus 1 whole square will be 0 so this will gives you k equal to minus 1 since we'll have only one possible value of k we can say that this this line is touch this sphere at one point and the point of contact we can say that the given line and the sphere are touch each other and the point of contact is the equation was 2k plus 3 minus k minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 this was the value of x y z and in that we have got the value of k is minus 1 so it is minus 2 plus 3 so it is 1 minus minus plus it will be minus 1 and this is 1 so the point of contact is 1 minus 1 1 let's do the next example find the value of k if the plane 2x minus 3y plus z equal to k and the sphere x square plus y square plus z square equal to 7 intersect each other also find the point of contact here the question is to calculate whether this will be the tangent sphere tangent of the sphere is or not so suppose that point alpha beta in gamma is a point of contact point of intersection between plane 2x minus 3y plus z equal to k and the sphere x square plus y square plus z square equal to 7 and we know that alpha beta gamma is a point of contact if you want to calculate the tangent at the alpha beta gamma then the tangent equation of the tangent is alpha x plus beta y plus gamma z is equal to 7 is the tangent in point alpha beta gamma the sphere 
x square plus y square plus z square equal to 7. That means this tangent plane and the given tangent planes are same. Therefore, the tangent plane alpha x plus beta y plus gamma z is equal to 7 is the same as given is 2x minus 3y plus z is equal to k. We compare the coefficient of each. So that means we'll have alpha upon 2 equal to beta upon minus 3 equal to gamma upon 1 equal to 7 upon k. But this alpha beta gamma is a point on the sphere that we have. So that means this value of alpha beta gamma must satisfy the equation of the sphere. So we can write but the point alpha beta gamma is on the sphere x square plus y square plus z square equal to 7. Therefore, if I can get this as some value that is alpha will be I can from this we can get alpha will be 14 upon k beta will be minus 21 upon k and gamma is 7 upon k. So we can substitute this alpha beta and gamma into the equation alpha square x square plus y square plus z square. So we can have alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square equal to 7. So that will gives you 14 upon k whole square plus minus 21 upon k whole square plus 7 upon k whole square will be 7. So if you simplify or I can divide both sides by 7 then this will gives you 7 into 4 that is 28 then it is 63 7 into 9 plus 7 equal to k square. So this will gives you k square will be 98. So the value of k is plus or minus 7 under root of 2. So for different values of k we have 2 intersecting because there are two planes are possible. One is here and other one is here. But both the planes are parallel planes. So for different values of k we have intersecting points that is 2 upon square root of 2 minus 3 upon square root of 2 1 upon square root of 2 that is the alpha beta gamma the value of alpha beta gamma which we have 14 upon k 21 upon k 7 upon k and that value I have substituted here and with the negative sign that is minus 2 upon square root of 2 3 upon square root of 2 minus 1 upon square root of 2 so these are the two point of contact this was the question to calculate let us discuss one more example and equation of here passing through circle x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus 4y plus 2z minus 10 equal to 0 x minus 2y minus z plus 3 equal to 0 and having tangent plane as this that is 2x plus y minus 2z plus 6 is equal to 0. So here we need to calculate the equation of the sphere which is passing through this circle as we know that the equation of the circle is always having the pair of two equations. So here one sphere is given, one plane is given. So we know that the equation of the sphere passing through this circle can be written as, so we can write the equation of sphere passing through a given circle is x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus 4y plus 2z minus 10 plus lambda x minus 2y minus z plus 3 equal to 0. Now one should note that center this sphere is minus u minus v minus w but the value of u we can calculate from this it will be lambda minus 2 upon 2 with minus sign plus minus 2 lambda plus 4 upon 2 with minus sign and minus lambda 
plus two upon two with minus sign. This is nothing but the will be two minus lambda by two. And if you divide this two both side, so you will left with two lambda minus two. And here you will have lambda minus by two. The radius is u square. That will be have two minus lambda upon two square plus lambda minus two square plus lambda by lambda minus two upon two square minus that is three lambda minus ten. If you simplify, this is lambda by two. This is also lambda by two square. So I can. I say this is nothing but the one by four plus one plus one by four into lambda minus two square minus three lambda minus ten. So this one by four plus one by four it is one by two plus one that is three by two into lambda square minus four lambda plus four minus three lambda plus ten the square root of this. So finally, we'll have it as lambda square minus 12 lambda plus 12 minus 6 lambda plus 20 upon 2. So this will gives you 3 lambda square minus 18 lambda plus 32 upon 2. So this is the radius of the the sphere. Now know that the distance between Center, center is given is two minus lambda upon two, lambda minus two, and lambda minus two upon two. The tangent plane, tangent plane is given to us is this two x plus y minus two z plus six is equal to zero. Is exactly the same as the radius. What is the distance? We know that this is the point. And this is the so if it is x1, y1, z1 is the point, and if the plane is ax plus by plus z plus d equal to zero, distance between this to this point and the plane can be calculated as ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d upon square root of a square plus b square plus c square. This is the formula to calculate the distance between point and the plane. So here this distance, this is the Point is point of contact is there, and this is the plane. So the distance between this two will be two into two minus lambda upon two minus plus lambda minus two minus two into lambda minus two upon two plus six upon square root of four plus one plus four, and this is equal to actually we'll have a radius r. Let me calculate first of all this quantity, and then we will equate this with R. So this two will get cancelled. This two is also will get cancelled. So this will gives you two minus lambda plus lambda minus two minus lambda plus two plus six upon square root of nine. So that will be three, which is exactly same as the radius. One lambda will get cancelled. One two will get cancelled. So we'll have this is. Mode of lambda plus eight upon three. So this side is mode of lambda plus eight upon three, and we have the radius equal to mode of lambda plus eight upon three. The value of radius also we have calculated as this. So we have three lambda square. If you do the square, three lambda square minus eighteen lambda. 32 upon 2 square root of that. So if I do the square, it will be lambda plus 8 square plus equal upon 9. So this is lambda square plus 16 lambda plus 64 upon 9. So this will gives you 2 lambda square. It will gives you 3 by 2 minus 1 by 9 lambda square minus 9 minus minus plus 16 upon 9 lambda plus 16. Minus 64 upon 9, lambda equal to zero. To simplify this quantity, we'll have the one one value of lambda. 
and that will be 27 minus 1 26 7 minus 2 it will gives you 25 upon 18 lambda square minus 97 upon 9 lambda plus 80 upon 9 lambda equal to 8. So this will give you 25 square minus if I multiply 2 here so there is 9, uh, 97 into 2 so that will give you 18 plus 1 is 19 194 lambda plus 160 equal to 0 this will give you two value of lambda value of lambda b minus b that is 24 so minus minus plus 194 plus or minus square root of 194 square is 4 into 25 upon into 60 2 into 5 is 194 plus or minus will have gives you 23556 upon 50 if you put this value of lambda into the place which we have here this is the equation of the required sphere then we will have two required equation of the sphere we get let us solve one more example the equation of plane square plus y square plus z square equal to 4 and passing through x minus y plus z equal to 5 and x plus y minus z is equal to 1 first of all one should note that there is an equation of the line is given with the intersection of a two plane so if there is a one plane is there another plane is there intersection of this two plane will create one line equation of the line passing through this given line so equation of the plane passing through this given line so we can write the equation of the plane through through the given line this is minus y plus z minus 5 plus lambda x plus y minus z minus 1 equal to 0. So therefore, that equation will have 2 plus lambda x plus minus 1 plus lambda y plus 1 minus lambda z plus 5, sorry, minus, you can just check, minus 5 minus lambda. So this is minus 5 minus lambda we have. equal to 0. If the equation of the plane is plane here square plus y square plus z square equal to 4 then we will have the condition that is the equation plane is touching the sphere that is the sphere will be 0 0 0 and this is the plane with touching the sphere. So that means this distance is exactly same as the radius of the sphere. So that's 4 and we have know that the distance between the point and the plane, the point is 0, 0, 0. Plane, the equation of the plane is this. So it is 0 plus 0 plus 0 minus 5 minus lambda upon square root of 2 plus lambda square plus minus 1 plus lambda square plus 1 minus lambda square equal to the radius of the sphere. Radius of the sphere is 2 due to this a square is 4. So the radius is 2. If you simplify this, then this it will give you lambda plus 5 equal to 2 times. And if I do the square both sides, then it is lambda 5 plus lambda square into 4 times. This is lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 4 plus lambda square minus 2 lambda plus 1 plus lambda square minus 2 lambda plus 1. If you simplify this is lambda plus lambda plus lambda that is 3 lambda square and this 4 lambda will get cancelled so it is 4 plus 1 plus 1 it is 6. So this will be 12 lambda square plus 6 fours are 24 and on this side we will have lambda square plus 10 lambda plus 25.
and if you simplify then you will have 11 lambda square 10 lambda this and 24 25 minus 24 that is minus 1 so this was minus 1 equal to 0 and you can factorize that is as 11 lambda plus 1 into lambda minus 1 equal to 0 so that will give you lambda equal to minus 1 upon 11 and lambda is 1 if i put the so the required equation or value of the lambda or tangent plane will be if i substitute this value of lambda here then we have two equation of the plane we will have so therefore the required equation of the tangent planes substitute that value 2x minus y plus z minus 5 plus 1 into x plus y minus z minus 1 equal to 0 and the another one is 2x minus y plus z minus 5 plus minus 1 upon 11 into x plus y minus z minus 1 equal to 0. If you simplify this two expression you will have the final answer as 7x minus 4y plus 4z minus 18 equal to 0 and another one is x is equal to 2. So these are the two given or two required tangent plane to the given sphere. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or question, please drop down in a comment box below. See you in next video. Till then, bye-bye. Sayonara.